How old is Alex, and what is particular with him that makes him different than the other kids? <laughs> He's so different. Um, okay, so Alex is six years old. He's very focused on detail. I would say happier, but he's always in a good mood. Numbers and letters and sequencing. He always has a smile and... Uh, he's always, always happy. Yeah. No matter what, he's yeah. always happy. Smiling all the time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. that's probably the most different thing. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? Did we mention that he has autism? Yeah, yeah. So Alexander was diagnosed with autism uh, probably uh, at age... Almost three. Actually, exactly before. 33 months old. <laughs> Where he, Bless you. he takes the belt like this, helicopter to jump over it, and he was jumping over it. The mom was like, oh my god! <laughs> I always play that game with my kids. Oh, you play that game? Yeah. Alexander is super good at it. Alexander, you like helicopter game from Coach Andrew? I actually wanted that game. Yeah, he probably. Let's forget the ring here. Oh, I don't even know where to put it. Here. Oh, whatever you want. Shut up. So crazy. Shut up. You should get it. Alexander, shut the front door. My name is Cindy, and um, I've been a physical therapist for like 22 years. I've been training jujitsu for uh, since 2005, and I got my black belt in 2012. So I'm Jimmy. Um, been training jujitsu since 2004, uh, Montreal, and uh, I got my black belt in 2013. Back back in Canada, I was I was in the military. I served for seven eight years. And when I moved to California, I decided to make jiu-jitsu my full-time. Um, you know, I was staying home that for a couple of years, but I did do that to make jiu-jitsu my full-time career. And I opened up uh, a gym in 2016 in Corona called Chickmat Corona. I took him in to get diagnosed because he had a lot of behavioral. I mean, he was he used to kick and scream and bite and cry. Sometimes he would cry and scream for 45 minutes straight. That was hard. Jiu-Jitsu was not like, it wasn't therapeutic. Um, it was just something we made him do. But as he got better, then um, the Jiu-Jitsu part was good for, first of all, listen to instruction, wait his turn, be in a very organized, you know, Com uh, program. So then also he listened to multi-step directions. And then he obviously he has to socialize appropriately with other kids, not just play, but to know how to respect other people's spaces, to know um, how to be around other kids in a very uh, sort of formal setting. I think it just supplements a little bit of everything about his life, mm -hmm. you know. Socializing with other kids, uh, to uh, listening to orders, yeah. or you know, just yeah. being just just a little bit of everything in life just makes you know overall a better uh, you know kid. I actually really wanted to uh, have a program for jujitsu for autistic kids. Primarily because I wanted to make a community for Alexander and he loves it because it's probably the place where he can just be totally himself and do crazy things um, and be all his behaviors like the silly autistic behaviors and it's totally okay. My name is Andrew Alvarado and I teach jiu-jitsu for kids with autism. Right now I'm in school for occupational therapy. So a lot of kids who do, uh, with autism who do jiu-jitsu do feel a lot more confident with their behaviors. Um, they tend to listen well. They feel more confident with themselves and that translates to their behaviors in school and in play and work with others. I was talking to Declan, one of the kids who's in the program. She's been looking for years 
for a sport for Declan to actually enjoy, um, where he can connect with the other kids and just actually enjoy the sport. And so for the first time with jujitsu, he really loves it. He apparently smiles every day. He comes and he's learning a lot. I mean, he's just becoming bigger in other, better in other aspects of his life, even like even at home. Autism, a lot of times, like, you know, some of their kids, they get stuck in some, uh, like, a pattern. Like, they'll do the same thing all over again every day. Like, you know, whether they focus on books or trains, whatever, they all have their own little little focus. But with BGJ for Autism is that we're trying to challenge the, like, kind of like their barriers, kind of like make them do things that's a little bit outside of their, what they normally do, and make them enjoy it. You know, like, like let's say for Declan, like, all of a sudden, he jumped for the first time. So, you know, with, with autism, uh, the sensory system is usually very heightened, and then they, they don't know how to express their sensitivity, so they oftentimes will scream, or they'll, they'll, they'll just shut down. Um, so with jiu-jitsu, we challenge those. What do I expect uh, from Alexander out of jiu-jitsu, to be honest? Uh, I just want him to keep loving jiu-jitsu. I mean, I don't want to force him to compete. I don't want to force him to do it if he doesn't want to. Like, when he started, he actually didn't want to, some days he didn't want to go to Jiu Jitsu. He just said, he'd tell me like, no, I don't want to. But I told him, okay, well, if you don't want to, just at least put on the gi and just sit there on the wall mm -hmm. and then watch your friends do it. And then he kept on doing it, like maybe for like a couple of weeks. And after a while, he started doing the games with them. And then he would skip out on the technique. Which is okay. I, I, I don't care. You know, he, I just make him enjoy the time that he's there. And then I, I, all of a sudden, he started doing all the drills and he started doing all the technique. And he's, he's actually know how to how to do some proper takedowns and sweeps now. I think that the key is is really make him just uh, what I expect is really him just to enjoy jujitsu, not with no. No pressure, you know, and and I think out, out of that, as long as he's enjoying jujitsu, everything else is gonna come, you know. That's how I see it. Mm -hmm.